Six weeks ago, I left for Slovakia and the rest of the world. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. I said my goodbyes to my parents because I won't be seeing them for at least the next year while I start this year of finding myself. I had a very smooth flight, although I probably slept like two hours, ate a questionable meal, and sat in the emergency row exit seat where I felt like I was in the middle of the aisle. Other than that though, smooth flight. I got to Krakow, Poland, where my uncle picked me up and then finally drove me to my grandma's house where I saw everyone for the first time since last year. It's always awkward on that first day, but one, two hours in, we were back to our usual family antics. Now, of course, I had peace, but that peace didn't last very long. Ah! <laughs> Once I settled in, met my friends, saw my family, that's when the partying started. I put that dish in your mouth. This is the walk of shame I get to take. Not some crusty, dusty city. I get to walk in the fucking mountains. Who even knew you could do the walk of shame in the mountains? Me. Inevitably, after that first week, I already felt the toll that this had on my body. So I needed like one or two days to just be with myself and rest in the sun. Scary ass tunnel. Zero. Clara, one. I went on this hike exactly a year ago and I remember I posted like a story but I was like sweating out all the alcohol in my system. And now it's that but also haven't worked out in two months edition. I'm almost there. I'm just like focusing on my breath because that's all I can do. Elevation gain, 300 feet right now. <sighs> I had no idea how much of this hike was left at all, and I'm here. excited to fly it too but whatever that's what i get for not using this for literally two years and then deciding to bring it out of the dust Now that I edited the reel, 
I'm just gonna add captions and then schedule it for Saturday because the episode's going up on Saturday. There it goes, done. Oh, yay. Did it not schedule and did it just post? Wow, I love when that happens. I love when that happens. <sighs> I feel like I'm always drinking water. Always be drinking water. What goes up must come down, right? So when we experience high highs and low lows, where do we find our balance? Is it easier to find our balance? I found that after experiencing both of these extremes, it was easier for me to accept the art of slow living. I was extremely grateful to be able to savor each moment with myself, each moment of silence, presence, reflection, the slow mornings that I would take two to three hours on, eating my breakfast, looking at a view without the need to look at my phone, reading my book that I have been putting off for the last six months, taking time to work on my yoga asana and meditation practice, and reconnecting with the people around me that I haven't seen in a while. Coming to Slovakia every year has taught me the importance of family. Mia piškoti robi. Ja hodi. Pudding. Protein pudding. Shake it, shake, shake, shake it. Whoa, oh, mama. I found connection and community this last year from people who I wasn't even remotely related to, but I was brought back to my roots and my ancestral roots every time I go visit Slovakia. While they might not understand me and I might not understand them at times, I take each moment to be grateful, to spend time with them, and to have this connection and this relationship that not many other people get to experience. It's a sort of unconditional love that can't even be explained other than the word unconditional love itself.